Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we are going to take a look at a video wall controller, which as we can see at the back, it's simple to use and it will make our life simple if we want to have a bigger image composed by four displays in this particular case up to four displays that we can use two by two or horizontally up to four or vertically up to four by the way if you still haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing it so so that we can share to that side of the screen news and tips such as this one as soon as they come out now if we take a look at the back we will see that the interface is really simple and when we look at those awesome video walls we think that hey this is difficult to achieve but with this video wall controller you will see that it's actually quite simple that being said let's take a look at the connectivity here at the back we will find a hdmi input and a usb type c input so i can connect any device that has hdmi or i can connect any new device that has usb type c video output which is great but we will only be able to have one signal at the time and we will be able to select as i will share with you in just a few moments if we want hdmi active or if we want the usb type c Active. We can also do audio extraction and we can extract the audio via optical out or through the 3.5 millimeter jack. So I don't need to be limited on the audio that the displays have. I can use any audio system connected via optical or 3.5 and then spread that audio through a big area or smaller area depending on my needs. Next, we have the HDMI outputs for the video wall. Out. And this looks like a kind of matrix switch, but it's completely different because the way that we can use it makes it a lot different. This controller will grab one image and it will spread that image up to four displays. So imagine that we have one image on one 27 inch display, for example, which is what I'm going to share with you next, but I can spread around that image and multiply by the four displays. And I will have a large four times 27 inch display, which is really awesome. We also have the RS 232 connection, a infrared extension and the DC in. At the front, we will find the on off button, a HDMI USB type C or auto LAD, which will give us the indication of which of the devices is actually being used and then we have the infrared receiver right over here the hdmi usb type c buttons the mode selection and also the reset and that being said come with me to the setup so that i can share with you how easy it is to use this video controller And here we are with a setup example for the video wall, which basically will transform four individual displays into one large image. Now, have in mind that this setup has four displays that are meant for home usage and they are upside down, which I will explain a little bit later how we will achieve that. But this to mention that the bezels are a bit large compared to displays that are targeted at video walls. Nonetheless, the result is awesome. We can connect HDMI or USB Type-C, but only one source at each time. We have the 180 degrees function which i will demonstrate we also have auto switching support so if i disconnect the usb type c it will go automatically to hdmi or if i disconnect the hdmi it will go automatically to usb type c and then we also have the adjustment possibility of the bezels of course with displays meant for video walls it's easier to adjust because the bezels are smaller and finally adid adjustment also supported on the video wall now regarding the control we can control via the remote control or we can control via the 
video on. For example, if I want to change between HDMI and USB Type-C, you can just press this button of the USB Type-C and we can see the LED indication that it did switch from HDMI to USB Type-C. So at this moment we have this laptop MacBook Pro right over here, which instead of four individual displays, it has this huge display right over here, which makes a awesome setup. Now if I want to change to HDMI, I can just press the button and it will go to HDMI. Now besides that button, we can also change the mode here and do a reset on the last button. But we will make some changes with the remote control, which basically will have everything that the video wall has, plus a few more. The rotation, the resolution, modes, and then the bezel horizontal and vertical adjustment. Now we are on two by two and if I want to switch the mode I can just press one by one and at this moment we will have four individual displays and if we notice the two top displays are upside down because they are actually upside down. The chin is right over here so that we have smaller bezels right over here and this is one of the great options of the video wall because if I want to fix this I just need to select my display number one which is that one and press the rotation it will rotate and if I press rotation for screen number two it will rotate and we will have the image on four displays so now I could control these four displays individually and of course if we want to go back to two by two and we also have the displays that do a reset on the image but if we want to change there we go number one number two and we can flip the image and in no time we will be able to have a huge screen for I would say a cinema setup or something similar where we can have instead of four small displays one really large display. Now in this particular case if I want to change to USB Type-C just press the button on the remote or on the video wall and it will go to USB Type-C or to HDMI in this particular case. So the modes that we can have at this moment is the one by one and two by two. All the other modes will depend on the number of the displays that we have and on the arrangement. We may have up to four displays horizontally, four displays vertically, three displays horizontally or three displays vertically among some other modes that we can use. And besides all this, we don't need to depend on the audio output of the displays. We will be able to extract the audio and pass it to our stereo, giving it a richer experience on the image side and also on the audio side. I will leave a link down below so that you can check all the specifications and features of the video wall controller. If you still have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us through the support or even through a comment right over here on the YouTube channel. If you still haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe so that we can keep on sharing this kind of content to you. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.